this is an adventure and a half. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriella and this is Makeup Adventures with Gabby. Today, I will be starting, oh, my camera sign. Already, I just started the video. Okay, I'm back with a fully charged battery. And what was I saying? There's a sock on this. So today, I really, I wanted to start this new series that I kind of just, maybe somebody out there has already started something like this. But if they haven't, today is the first day that you will see something like this. Um, I asked my best friend to choose any type of look that she wanted me to recreate. And I'm gonna be asking people that I know to choose a look for me every once in a while and we're gonna make it kind of into like a series and I really hope you guys enjoyed I will put the picture that my best friend wants me to recreate right here very intense look will I be able to recreate this probably not but we will try so with that being said I won't be like completely explaining every step that I'm doing I will be showing you the products that I'm gonna be using and like the shades I'm gonna be using but I'm not gonna be like explaining step by step like this is like I won't talk while I'm blending you know or else it's gonna be too long because it's a pretty complicated look so let's just do it why not so without further ado let's get right into the makeup okay so my eyes have been primed and my Eyebrows are done, they're really intense. A lot more than I wanted them to be, but here we are. Makeup adventure with Gabby, like, come on. All right, so let me pop up the picture here. I wanna be using several different palettes, which is why I wanna just kinda go through the, the look and not explain the look. So we're going to start i'm gonna, just going to show you the palettes that i'm probably going to be using we're going to start with the main palette will be the morphe james charles palette that i think it's the first time that i'm ever going to use it on my channel i love it i've been using it for a lot of different looks uh, i'm also going to be using the flamingo eyeshadow palette by violet boss and the shane dawson jeffree star mini controversy palette I'm probably gonna use. Did you see how fast I showed you there? So these are the four that I'm gonna probably be using. Like I could technically just do it with this one, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, I have it on my computer. See it? Feel this? It's sort of turning out the way that it should, but also sort of like not turning out the way that it should. So we'll see. The first shade we're gonna use is the pink. Uh, that's not pink. This is yellow. This yellow shade over here. And I threw out the top of like the thing that covers it. So I don't know the names of the shadows. So I'm just gonna use that first shade and gonna use it with a big blending brush. Shimmer, shimmer or not. It's a later on problem. Now I'm gonna take this orange shade up here, bright orange, and I'm just gonna intensify a little bit of that yellow, taking it with a smaller blending brush. Taking a flat brush and taking a little bit of the yellow and just dabbing it on top here and blending it in. I really want that yellow to pop a little bit more on top and she clearly has like eyeshadow all the way to her her brow bone. And we just wanna do the same thing. We're gonna go in with the shade, the brush that had the orange shade and just blending any harsh lines. From then, like it's kind of like pinkish with a little bit of purple in it. From the Flamingo palette, I'm gonna take the shade Coral, which is this like pink shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that one and put it with the orange shade. Okay, 
And now like we're starting to get to like the darker shades. So I'm gonna use this purple over here. This one. I'm gonna use this small blending brush. <laughs> Yeah, there's this purple here too. I tailor wrote this purple here. The mini controversy palette. I'm gonna add that too. I'm gonna add a little bit more purple. Okay. So now I think I'm gonna use a little bit of like a brown with this angled brush. I'm gonna take this brown over here, which is more like a like a red brown, I don't know if you will understand me. And I'm gonna use the tip of the angle and I'm gonna put that right on my crease here. And I'm gonna blend it right away with the purple. Really hope this comes all together with like the lashes and the rest of the look. Right now, I am ready to abandon ship. Like it kind of looks like it, but like it also doesn't look like it. I'm gonna make the outer corner darker. So with this same brush, I'm going to take this shade over here, this one, and I'm going to put that on my outer corner and a little bit onto the crease where I'm trying to create like that sort of darkness. Oh yes, this is the shade. Okay, we're going to take a concealer. I'm going to take the... Fenty Beauty Concealer Pro Filter Concealer. This is in the shade 300. I'm gonna do the cut crease. Between the angled brush that we use the dark shade with, I'm just gonna blend the edges right away. I'm going to take, I don't know if shimmers or not, I don't really understand, but I'm taking this blue shade mixed in with a little bit of this purple shade and I'm gonna blend that into the look and now I'm going to take I think this blue this blue over here from the mini palette put that all over my lid This is an adventure and a half. Thanks, Anik, for making my life complicated. Okay, now, do I remember what I did? No. Do I have to recreate on the other side? Yep. She also has a purple eyeliner, but I don't have purple eyeliner. So I'm gonna try and do this thing that I've done before. Anyways, let's let's do my cut crease right now. There was a call. There was a, if there was a show called Nailed It for makeup, this look would be in it. So it looks like she has a purple eyeliner. I don't have a purple eyeliner, but I do, I will try something that I've done before. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna use this black eyeliner from NYX. This is a pencil, and I'm just gonna do that on my lash line. I'm gonna take a angled brush like this one. I'm gonna take my setting spray, whatever setting spray you want. Just gonna spray that pencil, that brush, sorry. I'm going to take this purple shade over here and I'm going to dab this into it. And a little bit too wet. I'm just using that as my liner. Look, it's actually turning out good. I'm just going to, I just put my fake eyelashes on and I just think that the video cut off while I was doing the liner on the other side. So I just did the same thing 
on both sides. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. This look is actually hella nice. Let's just put it out there. I'm very proud of myself and I'm feeling it. Like it was a good challenge. Doesn't completely look the same, but like also don't have the same palette. For primer, I'm gonna be using my Tatcha primer. This is the Silk Canvas. You're gonna be like, wow, Gabby, that's a little primer for filming a video and probably taking off your makeup right after. Yes, yes it is. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 300. We're just gonna, oh. Like okay, I'm gonna go with an extra coat and that's just how I like to use this foundation. I know that it's very thick, light to medium, like more medium than light to medium coverage. So I do like to go with a second coat. I like full coverage. <laughs> and then I'm going with the Concealer, which is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 300. This concealer goes a long way. So I'm gonna set my under eyes right away with Hourglass Translucent setting powder. This is the Veil translucent setting powder. I'm just gonna take a little fluffy brush or a little powder brush. For contour, I'm gonna be taking the Huda Beauty Medium Tensor Contour. This is Energy Medium. I prefer blending it with a beauty blender, especially when it comes to cream because it gives it like a, a more natural look. Taking this small angled brush for my nose contour. All right, we're gonna set the rest of our face with our Tussles and powder. Take a powder brush and dab everywhere. Remember, dab, don't drag. You're gonna dab, 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 dab to the top. Finish the eyes. Actually, before I finish the eyes, I'm gonna try this. I've never actually done this before. I'm gonna take my powder, small powder brush. I'm gonna take a pretty good amount of powder and I put it under my eyes, like so. I feel like this is gonna help prevent me having fallout because you're gonna be able to like brush it off afterwards. We're about to do the bottom of our or our bottom lash line. So for that one, it seems to be pretty easy, pretty sta straightforward. It's just blue underneath. So I'm gonna take this blue over here and I'm gonna put that all over my lower lash line. And I'm gonna do that with this brush that I'm gonna clean. And for now, I'm just tapping it on, not blending it yet. And now we can start blending with this pencil brush i'm gonna take this blue shade and i'm also gonna add it to the bottom lash line but a little bit more precise in a way so more the bottom lash line i don't know if you understand what i'm saying there all right now we can take off the excess of this powder that kind of helped but not really <laughs> I'm pretty sure she also has like a blue liner on her waterline, but I don't have that, so we ain't gonna do that. For the inner corner, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this shade over here from the James Charles palette, this one. We're gonna do bronzer and everything. So I'm taking my NYS NYX bronzer. This is the matte bronzer in medium. My 
my nose is so contoured right now. It's gonna blend a little bit of that because like, it's a little twin pen. For blush, what am I gonna use for blush? For blush, I'm gonna take the Smashbox The Cali Contour. And I'm gonna take this warm orange shade. Good blush for, I feel like I look like a clown right now, but I know that it's just like the ring light that makes me like, look like, I, look like I still look like a clown. That's fine. For highlight, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Mother of Dragons highlight palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Viseron, this one in the middle. Let me see it, I'm just taking it into a, in a fan brush. I haven't used one in a while. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Mist. Like I have a lot of makeup on, so I need to put a little bit. And for lips, I'm taking my Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Driver. Get on my bottom lashes. All right, guys. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this sort of video where I just like play around with makeup and pretend like I know what I'm doing. It's just basically every video that I do. But like, who cares, right? Like, we're just living our best life. <laughs> The video you know like a anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up to subscribe to my channel i still need to put my little post that says say subscribe to my channel before you start the makeup all right guys i'll see you in my next video bye